I don't know why this is trying to ruin the, one of their only successful, one of their few actually successful IPs uh, being Wonder Woman and the Joker. The other ones were a flop. Uh, Justice League, I think it was a while ago. Superman, Batman. Um, only the Joker and Wonder Woman were successful. Suicide Squad did terribly and especially the Harley Quinn uh, movie who came out, which came out recently. Um, I don't know why why they're trying to do that, especially with AOC and Rashida Taleb, which are relatively controversial figures, especially Rashida Taleb, who supported, um, who's a, who hangs out with a ton of terrorist supporters. She's, she's at least terrorist adjacent, let's say. Um, she made a ton of anti-Semitic remarks in the past as well. So I don't know again why they choose her for these comics. Uh, the agenda is pretty obvious to me at least and it seems like social justice has infested even DC comics uh, which is why you can see Zoe Quinn I think leader, leading her own comic book story I think in DC which is terrible um, but anyway let's read the story there's a special surprise inside of it uh, so let's read it DC Comics is releasing a new graphic novel celebrating the quote Wonder Woman of history unquote and included among 17 female, quote, real world heroes, unquote, will be leftist darling rep Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Taleb, and even former presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren. Again, I told you there was going to be a surprise. Uh, I don't know why they picked Elizabeth Warren, and I don't know why the Daily Wire didn't use it in the headline, because Elizabeth Warren is even a more hilarious pick, but I guess... People hate uh, Rashida Taleb and AOC more. Um, Elizabeth Warren is is just, uh, I don't know how to call her, satirical, parodical. She's just a ridiculous character uh, saying she was a Native American and then uh, tested herself and it came out that she was only like one out, one out of 1,000 Native American. And then I don't know if it's a meme or it's true, but I saw a photo of her in the democratic convention uh, and it said the native american caucus it seemed like a joke but if it's not it's hilarious uh even more um how delusional delusional she is and the democratic supporters for actually believing it uh but anyway let's read on the list of wonder women of history also includes supreme court justice ruth bader ginsburg uh tennis star serena williams the one who cried racism and sexism, if you don't remember, when she argued with an umpire uh, for their call, and then she lost. So she blamed it on racism and sexism, even though it's a women's only match. So don't know why. Um, but anyway, Beyonce and alternative comedian Tig Notaro, which by the way, I didn't know who she was, so I, so I looked, her up, looked her up, sorry, and never watched any of her uh, content, but... I I don't assume she's unfunny, at least by, by, the, by the way she looks. She probably got by in life by being funny. Uh, yeah, so as well as number of social justice activists, no conservative women were included. We know why, obviously. Um, Beyonce, RBG, Serena Williams, and more will be spotlighted by DC as in the upcoming anthology Wonder Woman of History, taking a cue from its popular superhero movie, uh, superhero Wonder Woman. DC will spotlight 17 real-world uh, heroes in the fields of science, so social justice, activism, politics, sports, and entertainment, according to uh, Games Radar. Wonder Woman has been an inspiration for decades, and while not everyone would choose her star-spangled outfit for themselves, of course not because they hate America, her compassion and fairness are worthy of emulation. This is website notes. Um, it's hilarious that DC would um, criticize their own choices of a costume for a character they created a long time ago. According to Bounding Into Comics, the graphic novel features 17 separate stories, quote, tale of the real world heroes who take up Diana's mantle and work in the fields of science, social, social justice, activism, diplomacy, and more. Unquote. 
Uh, the anthology has an all-female creative team, brave and stunning, led by Lori Holz Anderson, best known for her young adult novels. Each individual entry into the anthology will be written and drawn by a team of female identifying and non-binary individuals. So it's not an all-female creative team. You can't identify as female, you can identify as a woman. Because female is not a gender, it's a sex. But woman is a gender, so they maybe identify as a woman. Meaning that this all-female creative team has men who can identify as women. Or as the story say, female and non-binary individual, which means they're not an all-female team. Even if you say female is a gender, then the non-binary individuals don't correspond to the gender. So it's still not an all-female creative team. It's, it's whew, we're two layers deep into social justice already. So let's read on. The book will also include pinups. Uh, both, uh, both RBG and AOC have appeared in comic books before, though not in the works released by a major comic publisher like DC. Um, seems like there's another ton uh, going on in this uh, story, just given a lot of background and no other details. I wonder who the rest of the 17 women are. I wish I pulled it up. But uh, there's not enough time here anyway. So yeah, the story is completely ridiculous. It's extremely polarizing, especially when there's only women from one side of the aisle, which were obviously chosen by people who are more social justice leaning, um, being a part of almost every company today, whether if it's in marketing with all the work ads we've seen, we've seen with Gillette and Dove, and every other company essentially in the world and with all the uh, woke content we see today in uh, not woke content woke um, looking for the perfect word with all the the, the uh, pandering which we see today in movies and in in tv uh, the boys which is now which now has a second season is one of my favorite shows uh, I've only I only learned re recently that the original comic has a ton of male characters that were gender bent into being uh, a woman uh, in the uh, show. Obviously, uh, it didn't affect my experience because I don't read comics, uh, which is funny that I'm now talking about comics. I, I don't really read comics, so I don't care. This story is just funny to me. And it's weird to, for me to see it in The Boys, which is a great series. I don't know how um, them deviating from the original material changes uh, would affect the uh, integrity of the story, but it's still a good product nonetheless. What I'm saying is essentially um, they're constantly pandering and now they're pandering in, in comics. Uh, uh, they've did it, they did it in gaming, they did it on TV, and now it's in comics in DC, which, like I said, has barely two successful IPs right now, which is The Joker and Wonder Woman. And I know it's only the comics and it probably won't affect the movie. It just sucks to see. I, I don't know why they would put an anti-Semite Semite like Rashida Taleb uh, in their comics or... Elizabeth Warren, who's, um, I guess, transracial, uh, with her pretending to be a Native American and exploiting it, which is honestly infuriating. And AOC, who's, who just uh, makes a ton of dumb uh, political takes, especially when it comes to finance. She actually cost New York 5,000 jobs with uh, uh, Amazon, who wanted to uh, I don't know if it was relocate or just locate their headquarters there. Uh, she basically cost NYC 5,000 jobs because she wouldn't agree to the tax benefits uh, or tax cuts that the that Amazon would receive and said that the tax cuts would be money better spent on the community, not realizing that tax benefits uh, are not money that you have in hand, but money that you're given up on instead of taking it so anyway she she's not economically savvy uh, and i'm not as well but she's she's 
more than ridiculous especially for one who actually i think she has a degree in economics which makes it even more funny uh but anyway thank you guys for watching i'd love to hear your opinions in the comments if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you want to support the channel more than uh with the likes and your comments and your shares you can also support it through patreon um monthly or one time it actually helps a ton and helps me make more content for you guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video